G'day everyone, uh, welcome back to Perkins Engineering YouTube channel. Um, today I'm outside actually, uh, we're going to go a bit science experiment this episode. Um, what we're doing is we're actually uh, de anodizing some rear brake calipers off the 93 Bathurst winning car. So we're stripping the anodizing, we're going to detail the calipers and then get them re anodized so they look as good as they did back in 1993 when they would have started on the car when it was brand new. So I've got a, a bucket of hot water, bucket of cold water, um, some caustic soda. Uh, so this is the, the magic recipe for stripping uh, anodizing and some gloves because uh, this is going to get pretty serious. But um, I'm really looking forward to sort of sharing this whole process of uh, stripping, detailing and re-anodizing. So we'll, um, we'll start with the, the de-anodizing and uh, I'll show you a little bit of, of the uh, calipers themselves. So these are the Harrop rear calipers from the 93 Bathurst winning car. And um, they're actually um, two different batches or two different uh, finishes um, based on purely the age. These lighter colour ones are the original ones that were sold on the car to John Trimble. They're engraved 93 JT and then some of our original stampings are in them. So they're in they're in pretty good condition to be fair but see some wear and tear from uh, little bits of crash damage and whatnot. So we're gonna strip them, detail them up um, make them look nice and tidy and then at some stage obviously one uh, of the calipers has failed and uh, someone one of the previous owners has replaced them so this was the caliper on the, the right hand side um, so again just pretty good condition just a slightly different color different batches um, of production and some wear and tear so we want to strip them down tidy them up and, and make them look like a, a pair I was lucky enough to speak to Ron Harrop about some of the manufacturing processes and the materials and then collectively with uh, our anodizing uh, friends at Electromold we'll be able to fulfill this process and these calipers will look brand new so let's get stuck into it. Okay so first things first we uh, add the caustic soda to uh, hot water not boiling water not like cold water but just hot tap water. Um, so we'll get the lid off that. And it's normally um, like a uh, probably th three tablespoons worth for this kind of job. So get the get that in there. Better go find something to give it a stir. So give that a bit of a stir to mix it in with the water and uh, it creates a chemical reaction where it actually starts to eat away at aluminium material. Um, Dad was telling me that uh, back in the day when uh, motorbike pistons wouldn't fit in bores, they'd dip the aluminium piston in here and it takes some material off the aluminium, a couple of thou uh, over a period of time and then uh, it would fit in the bore, so this is a pretty old old school um, way of doing it. It's pretty important not to breathe uh, this in. Um, and we'll uh, start by putting uh, one of these calipers in, and um, then we'll start the stopwatch and keep an eye on it. So a caliper's only been in here for around about a minute and that's still waiting for a reaction to take place. You can see a couple of bubbles starting to appear. We'll check back in in a couple of minutes time. We're at the five minute mark and you can really see the material starting to bubble away. So that's the chemical reaction where the uh, aluminium material is starting to uh, shred itself if you like. Just ever so slightly. Um, you gotta be careful, I mean, if you left this in here for an hour, you'd come back to find no material whatsoever. So it's a delicate process. And um, we just keep an eye on 
uh, how long it takes. Typically with colored red wheel nuts, for example, you, this water would be a, a shade of red by now, but with a clear anodized finish on the calipers, it doesn't discolor the water too much, but you can clearly see all the uh, reaction starting to take place. Okay, we're approaching the 10 minute mark. You can see lots of uh, bubbles, a lot of reactions happening in there. So we'll uh, get to 10 minutes and pull it out and have a look. Okay, so that's uh, 10 minutes. Well, let's uh, pull out our part and have a look. You can really see a bit of, bit of black coming in where it's starting to strip off the material. It's still bubbling away, you can hear it. Um, so it does need a little bit more time in there to keep doing uh, its thing. We'll put it back in. All right, it's still busy bubbling away. That's 15 minutes. Let's uh, pull it out, make sure it's still here. And you can see, uh, I'll pop it into the water. Can, uh, touch it. We put it in water to wash all the caustic soda off so that it stops reacting with the material. And you can see uh, it's gone quite uh, quite well so far. You can see we can if we start rubbing it here, we can effectively see that we're rubbing off that anodized finish and there's a nice raw aluminium color under there so it will just need a little longer in the caustic and then we'll be able to clean it right up and get stuck into our detail work all right so that's 20 minutes now and uh, it's really aggressively bubbling away now really you're starting to eat into that aluminium we're only taking you know, thousands off at a time but I think this will be pretty close now just get in the water and um, stop stop the reaction and we'll have a further look at it and uh, yes all that anodizing's just real slimy now and we can rub that all off give it a nice clean up and it'll be a raw uh, aluminium finish ready for further detail work. Okay, so now we uh, repeat that process with the other parts, strip off the anodizing. You see there's a bit of color change there. That's the one we've just stripped off and that's its mate. So we'll go through that process now with the other ones and then we'll show you the next step in the detail work. Okay, so we've finished the de-anodizing process. Uh, all the calipers, uh, the, the pieces of the calipers are sitting here ready for the next stage, which is um, our detailing and polishing stage. Uh, we use these Scotch Bright mops, so if anyone from 3M's watching, um, we'd love some of these uh, free of charge because they get a bit expensive. Um, there's a couple of different strengths, very fine, fine, and a medium coarse uh, one. They're um, little uh, wheels that get attached to a bench grinder and uh, we use them to detail up a lot of our, our things, hubs, uh, even you know nuts and bolts and various things. Um, so we'll run the calipers over the scotch Bright mop and um, show you what they look like after that. So we'll start with this one. You can see all the anodizing's basically been removed and now we uh, start that detailing stage. So you can see after a bit of work on the mop, the uh, product just gets a nice little detail overall. Um, quite, quite a difference in the sort of finish from just stripping the anodizing, gets a lot of that shine back 
Um, takes a little bit of the rough facing off it from the deanodization process. So we'll do that to all of them. And then we start to do a bit more detail work with some uh, uh, flat surfacing, um, making sure all the uh, critical areas are nice and flat and true. Uh, we'll thread tap through the holes, clean up all the threads and um, detail some of this little nicks of damage. Um, and uh, then they'll be just about ready to re-anodize. So we're all cleaned up and ready to clean out the threads and do a bit more detail work. The old Scotch Bright mop leaves a bit of a mess on the ground, but it uh, does the job. Okay, so we've cleaned out the thread taps where the bleed nipple is and some of the mounting holes. So now it's time to jump on the flat plate here and surface all the areas um, and start giving it a bit of a detail. We've got 300, 600, 1200, 2000, plenty of different grits here to uh, get stuck in on. We get right into the into the fours of the pistons. Give them a good run over with uh, 2000. Make sure they're nice and clean. And this is all a real long process. Just to make sure the detail work's done, everything's done properly now. And then there'll be no issues when we uh, get them re-anodized and put them all together. And then when they're on the car, They'll be as good as new, if not better. <clears throat> so the last step now with our calipers is um, hot water, hot soapy water, and some of the steel cloth pads, the old Jex pads, and uh, the areas that are sort of shiny uh, aluminium, we give them a nice clean in this uh, water, keep the shine there so when that's um, anodized, it looks like when they were new, but we also want to keep that rough finish uh, where the casting uh, marks were, so it's a nice mix of shiny but also rough casting, so I'll put some, uh, some of Mum's Morning Fresh in here, put the detergent, Grab those jex pads and off we go. Okay, well here is the kind of the finished product. Um, obviously not finished because they need to be anodized, but uh, all ready to go. So nice and polished where the, the shiny sections are, um, all polished on the inside of the, where the pistons will run in the bores and um, all detailed up, ready for re-anodizing. So I'm looking forward to showing you the finished product when they're uh, back from the anodizers. Well, the exciting part of the process now is done. The rear calipers have been anodized and I've got to say they've come up fantastic. Um, we ended up using Collins in Melbourne. Uh, the color we needed, um, Electromol didn't have them, but you see these are sensational. So really, really happy with how our rear calipers have ended up.
Now the next part of this project is to rebuild the calipers, so we'll look forward to bringing that to you. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for joining. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also our next episode, we're uh, looking forward to bringing you that one. That's gonna be a comparison on the front spoilers uh, back to our little mini, mini series comparing the three different type of cars. So we're looking at the front spoilers in that next episode. Looking forward to bringing you that one. Thanks again.